Well, good afternoon, everybody. What is up? Thanks so much for clicking on the video. And my goodness, is it a beautiful day down here on the Texas coast. It is the end of January right now, currently about 70 degrees, not a cloud in sight. Today, we are gonna be heading out and doing something that I have not done in a while, which is throwing on the waders and doing a little bit of wintertime wade fishing for speckled trout. If you've been following the channel for a while, you know that this channel was basically founded on wade fishing and I haven't really been doing much of it lately. So I am super excited to throw the waders on and head out here, but y'all check this out. All this right here is usually water, but the tide is out so far because of the weather, the full moon, the winds, all that stuff, that it's completely dry land. The good thing about that is that when we have low tides like this, number one, it makes it so you can see what you usually can't. Right now I can see a bunch of oyster, a bunch of little scattered shell and sandbars and stuff that we normally can't see when the tides are up. So we can learn a thing or two when the tides are low. And then when the tide rises back up to the normal levels, we know new places to fish and we have a lot more knowledge on our fishing spots. The second reason this is awesome is because when the tides are low like this, as you can see, there's huge areas of water just completely drained out and missing. So all the fish that would be up in those areas are now pushed off into deeper holes and the fish are a lot more stacked up and concentrated. And usually where you catch one, you're gonna catch more. I'm gonna throw on the waders, get all my gear and I'll see you out at the fishing spot. We're in about shin deep water right now. Usually this would be up to our waist. We have this deep hole coming up on us right here. It drops off to around 10 feet and look at all the birds working. We got pelicans diving all out here around this reef and around this hole. Hopefully that means there's some bait. And if there's bait, there should be some big old fish feeding on them. We're gonna find out here shortly. So we're gonna start off by throwing this Little John. This is like the clear with salt and pepper flake in it on a 1 8 ounce jig head. Throwing the 1 8 ounce because typically in the winter, you want your bait to fall as slow as possible. Give it more time in front of those fish and more time for them to look at it and eat it. So that's what we're gonna be throwing. Just cast it out, let it sink all the way down to the bottom. That's where we're gonna start to see if these fish are holding on that mud or holding on that oyster and just slowly bouncing it, hopping it along. Got him, trout. I knew I felt a bite there a minute ago. Look at that. Boom, just a little guy, but hey, that's a great sign. Nice. That means that they're here. Let's get a little picture of that guy and send him on his way. Okay, we'll pop this hook out. He's bleeding just a little bit. He should be all right. Yeah, he's fine. We're not gonna hold him out of the water too long. And he's gone. Pretty cool, pretty cool. There we go. There's another one. About in the same spot. That feels a little bit better. Yes, sir. Oh, I see him out there. Another good thump. Yeah, that's a better trout. There we go. There we go. Nice. Hey, it's a solid 16. Boom. Look at that. Nice, beautiful trout right there. We'll get a measurement on them. Yeah, 16 inches. We're going to go ahead and let this guy go. I do want to keep a couple for a catch and cook. I know you guys love those catch and cooks. And it's been a while since I've had some fresh fish. But we'll go ahead and let this guy go and hopefully we'll catch another. Boom, he's gone. Let's go, baby. So we're kind of putting it together. That's the second fish I caught in that same area. Same water depth and everything. Let's see if we can catch some more. guys it's been quite a while since i've gotten a bite i actually just got it what are the odds of that what in the heck i ain't gonna believe this you foul hooked a pinfish like i was saying it's been quite a while since i've gotten a bite out here probably about an hour and a half i actually just got a little tap about 10 minutes ago and i missed it um and then hey i caught this thing does that count 
Probably not, but we're going to keep on throwing around this little John for about five or ten more casts. And then if I don't get anything on that, I'm going to switch over to a soft dine. And hopefully we'll be able to hook into a big old trout on that soft dine. But for right now, let's keep on casting this thing around. And let's see if we can get lucky and hook into a nice trout. Well, that's gonna do it right there. I'll see you guys back at the truck. Whew. And we are back at the truck. Let me tell y'all what, guys. I really did not know if I was gonna make it back or not. The walk out there was great. The tide was out, so I was walking on dry land, but on the way back, the tide has come in this afternoon and I thought my hips were just gonna seize up on me. I can tell I have not been wade fishing in a long time. Pushing through all that water with these waders on, these heavy wade boots, it was not a good time. Either way though, we had a good day out there on the water. It was absolutely beautiful, nice clear water, amazing weather. The wind has picked up just a little bit, but not much. And we caught some fish. We didn't catch a lot, but we did manage to catch a couple trout, which is always fun, especially after not wading and not hitting a spot for a long time. You don't know how it's gonna be, but we managed to put something together. Unfortunately, after I let that 16 inch trout go, I did not end up catching another one. But hey, you can't even be mad whenever you have weather like this and just an absolute beautiful day. The fish are just an added bonus. I do want to tell you guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what type of fishing you want to watch, whether it's more weight fishing, taking the boat out, bank fishing for big drum or bull reds or really whatever. Let me know in the comments down below. That is all I have for y'all today. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and until next time, peace.